Alrighty, thanks again for the fill, ladies and gents. Thank you, thank you. We are doing uh, another random teams break for Donruss. Donruss randoms team break number 15. So, Donruss random teams break number 15. Alright, so we did black gold 265, now we're doing Donruss 15. After this we got Stadium Club, then Donruss, then Thicker. Alright, so this is random team number 15. Alright. Soccer Breakers FC, that's me. If you're interested in joining our breaks, join our Facebook group, Soccer Breakers FC. Check out our website, www.soccerbreakersfc.com. Follow us on Instagram, just Soccer Breakers. If you're watching on YouTube, guys, don't forget to click that little subscribe button. We're on four or five nights a week. And as always, guys, thank you so much for the likes. If you enjoy watching the breaks, greatly appreciate the clicking on that little thumbs up button right there. It helps us out and always appreciate it. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, well, let's get this rolling. Roll the dice, we roll snake eyes eight times. Uh, thank you, Russ. Appreciate that. Eight times. We're going eight times. Good luck. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pablo on top, Daniel Zhu on the bottom, eight times. All right. So now we are going to go eight times on the teams. Good luck. Eight times on the teams. One, two, three. Again, we're going eight times. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. Eighth and final, that's eight. We got Sweden on top, England on the bottom, eight times. Yes, there's Sweden on top, Brazil in the two slot, England in the 19 slot. All right, Pablo, you got Sweden. Jason, you got Brazil. Congrats. Daniel, Norway. Nice one there. Taylor, Croatia. Alex, USA. Jerry, Uruguay. Uh, Angelo, uh, Portugal. Oops, hold on. Let me try this one more time. Uh, Angelo, Portugal, Manuel, Colo 
Colombia, Evan, Korea, Andrew, Netherlands, Scott, Argentina, Alex, Mexico, Nick, Belgium, Evan, France, Ned, Ger Spain, uh, Connor, Germany, Evan, Italy, Osora, Poland, and Daniel. Congrats with England. Let me print this out. All right, good luck, guys. Here we go. Yes, I can. Anyway, I kind of planned it. Uh, there's two Champions League. Unless they change the quarterfinal situation, there's quarterfinal matches. Uh, Russ on the 5th, 6th, and 12th, 13th. And I arrive on the 3rd, and I leave on the 14th. You know, I haven't got hotels yet. I'm gonna got a buddy that I don't know. I might offer me a place to stay, but I think I'll probably just grab a hotel room for a couple days. I may uh, I don't know. I'll have to figure out my travel plans there. But I'll be in London most of that time. Uh, may uh, make a road trip to UK Card Breaks, which is I think he's like a couple hours outside of London, and then. Uh, I, don't know, I gotta talk to Jack too when they make a road trip. Let's see, Jack. Uh, so we'll see. But I definitely want to try to plan it around the Champions League. Assuming that uh, we can handle Lille, and Chelsea should be in the quarterfinals um, if they can beat Lille. And then that would be when we're there. It would fall during the quarterfinals. Heck, I was even looking at, uh, I mean, I'll coordinate with you, but I would love to, like, you know, let's say they end up playing in Paris or they end up playing somewhere not too far from England. Uh, I don't think you can play the English teams in the quarters, right? You, you can't, or can you? Does anybody know for the Champions League quarterfinals, can English team play other English teams, or is that only the semi? Because if they can play English teams, then odds are, you know, they could end up playing... Liverpool or United or um, City in the quarter. But then you've also got like Bayern and you've got, you know, so I don't mind like doing a little road trip to Munich or to Paris or to 
you know, Spain, depending on who they end up playing, if they play like Real Madrid. That would be a fun, like, two-day trip. Oh, nice. Is there like a hotel in it? Is that like right next to it or something? I always, usually when I go, I stay at my friend's house, but this time since it's kind of a business trip and I have tons of miles anyway, I could, you know, I don't know, I have to see it. And my friend's place is in Hampstead, which is kind of far. It's more fun than, well, I guess it would be closer to the, to the event, which is where Cotton is. But. Yeah, actually, you know, I've been in that hotel. Actually, we had drinks right there. I remember that now. Yeah, because I met a bunch of players. It's like right next to the to the city. Yeah, remember, like you go up the escalator and the bar is right there at the hotel in Stamford Bridge. And usually after the games, they wouldn't let people in, but they let us in because my buddy has credentials. Yeah, I remember it. We've been there a few times. Oh, nice. Do they have packages for like the Champions League quarterfinals to us or what? Were they complete tickets? Yeah, let me know because I, I wouldn't mind the. You know, I'm mean, gonna have to stay in for a few days if it included tickets. I gotta ask my buddy about the ticket situation. Yeah, the only thing that sucks is that uh, the show is on the Saturday, which is like, I don't know if Chelsea's playing at home that Saturday. Or... Alexa, does Chelsea play on April 9th? Oh, I forgot. I, um, I uh, unplugged Alexa last night because she was uh, being a pain in the butt. But uh, that day um, is the show, so unless they like move them, and I remember they didn't play like a big team that week. So unfortunately, I probably won't be able to do the Saturday match just because I'll be at the show. But the, uh, the rest I, I will. Ivanovic, unless somehow they get moved to like Sunday or Friday or Monday or something. Gabriel Jesus. But I was thinking we'll definitely do some kind of party um, in London for sure. If I do this trip. I am for sure going to have a party for our guys and we'll get together at like a pub or something. Uh, either that Saturday night or maybe the night before. I was thinking maybe either the Friday night or the Saturday night, one of those two nights. We'll try to like maybe uh, talk with my buddy now and I'll have to ask uh, Luke about it also. Maybe we could rent out like a, rent out a pub for like four or five hours or something. What the hell am I doing here? That's not the right one. Let me just fit. There we go. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, Mickey. Sorry, buddy. I think I did a little backed up. Let me make sure you're on there. 
international Yankee. Yeah, Mickey, I, I I'll get I'll get yours in the next day or two, I'll let you know. Olson. Jan Benarek to one ninety nine Timothy Castagne to ninety one of ninety nine No no I, I won't yeah I have yours in the UPS pile so yeah yours won't go up. Yes, it's UPS. Good mark. When all the Millic, Silver Hollow. Silver Hollow, Benzema. Okay, and the quarters, that's what I thought. I couldn't remember if it was quarters or semis. So, odds are pretty high that they're going to play somebody in, Eng I mean, between England and, and Paris, you figure out of those final eight teams, Gomez, there's probably about a more than 50% chance that they're going to play someone close by. Pedri, Marbles. So, do you like and that would be awesome if they play someone in England. You could, we could do home and away, both. Could do both, both matches. Uh, Luis Diaz, because, you know, when I arrive, I arrive on a... I think I fly out. What is the second? Is it a Saturday or a Sunday? Can't remember. All right, April second is a Saturday, so I fly out Saturday. I arrive Sunday, so then that Tuesday and Wednesday, the fifth and sixth, uh, would be leg one, and then twelve thirteen would be leg two. So that would be perfect if it was like preferably United, because I really want to see Old Trafford, and I'd rather them play United than City. So hopefully United advances and Chelsea draws you. That would be perfect. Chelsea United in the quarterfinals. But the other one I'd love to see is PSG. I would love to see them play PSG. Hopefully by then, COVID's under control. We could hop on the train to Paris. That would be pretty awesome too. Look up with uh, Michael Atal there. Uh... Nandez, Yichan Wong, oh wow, that's awesome. Refractor rookie, Chrome rookie card. Oh, nice. Twenty of all. Yeah, I actually graded three. I had four Mbappe refractors. This is back when grading was cheap. I graded them, and three of them came back tens, and the other one came back a nine. And I think I sold I sold them back when they were selling for like six, seven, eight thousand. I think I sold them for like seventy five. Yeah, I sold all three of them. I think the last two I sold at nationals for like sixty five hundred each or something. That was a pretty good uh, 
pretty good sale. I had a but they they grade really well because I graded like I had like about 25, 30 base cards, and I want to say like 70% of them graded tens. Ancelotti, Italy. I think I sold pretty much all my chromes. I still have a bunch of the World Cup Prism 2018 Mbappes. Like I have about 10 Mbappe PSA 10s from World Cup Prism, but they're just the base, not, not the Prism. Yeah, the prices on those tank. Like the prices on the 2014... Ronaldo, Messi, those those all tank too. Yes, uh. Charleston, Silver Hollow. Giovanni Reina, 28 of 99. Marbles, Dembele. Wow, you know, those messy PSA 10s went up to like, at one point, they were three to four thousand, Mickey. At one point, they were like three thousand dollars. It was insane. And uh, yeah, then they were like at a thousand for like a long time. I should just sold them. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Uh, I've got quite a few of them too. I've got like maybe 30, 40 of them. Anyway, I figure I'll hold on to them. Giovanni Reina, 99. Yeah, that's the one I'm kicking myself for. I just didn't have the time. I was so busy. I was like, ah, whatever. We're just not. Yeah, Austin made a killing on those because he sold all of his really quick. The 349 Graven Birch, I should have followed his lead. Luka Modric. 95 of 149. Yeah, I had a boatload. I have volume of the 2014s because I had about 500 Messi's and 500 Ronaldo's, Bentancourt. But back then, the Raws were like 150. And, uh, Who knows, maybe someday. I was looking at like Raws for like, uh, you know, LeBron James and the first prism that came out, like just as comparable. And that's always going to be their first prism card. So at the current prices, they seem really low. What's the lowest uh, price point right now to get grading? Is it still like minimum price is like 150 bucks or something? Antuna, rookie. Rookie. 
inward fold. Marked in marbles. Healing in sun, boom diddy shaka, silver hollow. Hundred bucks is low. Okay. Rodrigo to 199. Benedict Tawidis. Donnarumma. Gold Marbles Burner. Marco Verratti, 27 of 99. Whoa, we got it. Come on, one time. Be a Pele. One time, beautiful game. Pele, come on, hit me. Uh, Santos Borre, oh, wrong team. I thought it was Brazil. Jeez. Way off on that one. Colombia, Manuel. That was going to be a Brazil hit. Denier. Boondity, Silver Hollow, Erling Holland. Oh wow, 500 cards. We had a couple of Beckham autos uh, graded, came back 8.5 and 9 on the Beckett one. Rito Baku, I got an empty Beckett auto that came back a BGS 9, and then the other one was, uh, what was the other one? The other one was the rookie ticket. Historic ticket uh, to 49 or something. I came back and need five. Oh, the Netty. I usually don't grade. I just had two free grades from the uh, from the industry summit. They give you like a little coupon you can use for free grading. Figured might as well. But yeah, grading is kind of fun because you know you hit the card, that's fun. But then when you send it in for grading, that's kind of like joining a break, pretty much. Yeah, one of these days I'm gonna start offering grading.
Olsen, Silver Hollow, Zaro Gold, Silver Hollow, Luka Modric, Cancelo, Silver Hollow, Stu, uh, Vinny Jr. to 349. Yeah, yeah, seems like grading is the way to go nowadays. Montolivo Jaden Sancho Pedri Marvel's Gold Pedri Rugby, Silver Hollow. Olsen, the 349. Jorge Campos, Andra. Lewandowski, Silver Hollow. My brother from another mother, Jorge Campos. Boomdiddy, Pineda, 23 of 49, Orange Optic. Silver Hollow, Norman. Ronaldo. Hoops. Oh, nice. We got a gold coming. We got a gold something. I don't know what it is. Let's go this way. How about Raheem the Dream Sterling? Two of ten gold. England. Daniel Ju.
Young Young Silver Hollow Bastoni. Lewandowski to one ninety nine. Uh, Jimenez to ninety nine. Christopher Olsen, uh, Vinny Jr., Ansu Fati, Winalda, number two, 199, Lewandowski, Rodrigo, and Bednarek. Silver Hollow, Lewandowski. Marvel, Silver, Ronaldo, Pedri, Zlatan, Ronaldo, and Pedri. Kit Series, Benedict Haridis, Kit Kings, uh, Ronaldo, match worn on the Ronaldo, and uh, Ricardo Montolivo. Alright, red and blue, Luca Modric. Uh, Mandesh rookie, graded rookie. Uh, Starburst Red Verratti. Then we've got Jose Jimenez, uh, Giovanni Reina. And the Starburst is Hichan Huang. And Timothy Castagne. Jorge Campos autograph. Ryan Gravenberch to 349. Golden Pedri Marbles. Silver Hollow Young and Son. Autograph Santos Flore. Autograph Carlo Ancelotti. Silver Hollow Erling Brat Holland. To 10 Raheem the Dream Sterling. To 49 uh, Pineda Optic. Yeah. 